Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're going to be doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Public Domain Jam 2. The Public Domain Jam 2 is a game jam where you take something that's public domain, like a story, and make it into a video game. Um, this year's bonus theme was Time Stroke Less. So, basically, people made a game that told a story. There are about 23 games entered in this jam. I'm not going to be able to play the Android ones, which are two due to not having my tablet with me at the time. But I've been playing all the games for about a minute each, 10 games per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description. Feel free to like and comment and share this video as it all helps support me. And let me know which ones are your favorite from the jam. Thank you very much for watching. Next. First, we're playing the game Falling Old Ladies, inspired by the story of the same name. Ladies are falling. Oh, am I supposed to dodge them? For Daniel. Um, unless he's the creator of the story, I guess I'm supposed to avoid them. <laughs> Just ladies falling down. <laughs> like splatting. That's <laughs> a little bit weird. Well, so are a lot of these stories, to be honest. I took a, an original fairy tales class uh, a couple years back. It was a college course that I took in high school. And um, they had a lot of weird versions of the fairy tales that we like to tell our children nowadays. And it's just so weird. And a lot of them are very morbid. Oh, that's pretty simple. It's very well made, though. Alright, next. Next, we're playing the game uh, Zombies of Lesbos. It's really pretty sounding. Another oldie to Aphrodite, poor Sapho. Sapo. So loved and yet so tortured. All your hours spent yearning for what? Love? Love is lost. Love is fear. Love is death. Trust me, I am the lonely knight, cold, alone. The goddess, Nynx, creator of all. I am true love, without which love would be empty, meaningless. Here I shall show you true love, Sappho. I don't know how to pronounce her name. The mere moments your aisle will be no more. Let's save your Aphrodite. I don't know. So I guess it's like the intro. Let's see. To stop Nynx's destruction, Sappho must write her hymn to Aphrodite by collecting parchments around the aisle and returning before time runs out. Her liars are only defense, space to attack, Z for song of pain, X for song of sleeping. Is there, do I just continue around here? Safano, Saf what's happening? Is Nynx attacking? Making zombies sleep so I can beat them with my like harp. I can't attack them until they're like asleep, maybe? I'm hitting space, but it's not really doing anything. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Oh, alright. There we go. I like the music in this. Seems as you hold down the spacebar, it does more damage. Yeah. Oh. Next. Next, we're playing the game The Furl Child. Alright. So running, spacebar to jump, jump onto this tree to go up. Oh. Tree moving up and down, left and right, leap space. 
You can maneuver in midair. You were raised by a family of flying squirrels. Okay, keep going left till you come to the clearing. You're supposed to meet your friend, Ball Barrow the Bear. Oh, this is really neat. I love Andy's games. They're always really nicely made. Okay. Falling green arrows. Ooh. Ah. That seemed like it hurt. Sounds like they're cutting down the trees. Ooh, they are. Ooh. Get back up there. Get up really high. Bado is dead. You must race the sanctuary at the end of the road north before it's fun to time to escape the attraction. Just follow the cutters. Oh, God. Follow the cutters doesn't sound fun. Next. Next, we're playing the game The Telltale Heartbeats, a game for the Pup Domain Gym 2 based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Tall Tale Heart. Teacher was obsessed with Edgar Allan Poe and read like all of his stuff. Object there was none. Fashion there was none. I loved the old man, but he had an eye of a vulture. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. I made up my mind to kill the old man and rid myself of the eye forever. But time was running out. This is really neat. Place your hand on the HJKL keys. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see, right? Love typing in. I like how, like, musical this is. This is really nice. If you ever wanted to know where horror music came from, footsteps. I keep trying to look over and see the like the actual screen. This is really neat. H, we're almost there. But we've made a lot of mistakes. Next. Next, we're playing the game Hummingbird Haunting. A new day. I peek out. I peek my head out of the window. Again, I see it. There it is again. The levitator. The hummingbird. It stands still on the air over the flowers, dreamlike, a graceful butterfly of timeless beauty. Its eyes are jewels, watching, glittering at the world. The way it hovers like a fairy in another, in an otherworldly creature. Affected by the world. Not affected by the world. I don't actually know how to move on without making it full screen, I think. Ah. Supposed to be full screen. Sorry. I marvel at its glory. The hummingbird. I'm going to switch back to this. Sees me. And it flutters over. And it rests on my hands. I stare at it. Awestruck. Is it even a hummingbird at all? For the first time, I see something different. For a long time, I've seen the hummingbird's beauty, but now I wonder who created that beauty. I've only been seeing the art, but now I wonder about the artist. The end. Alright, that's quite neat, actually. So you can come check it out. Next. Next, we're playing the game Werewolves of War. So we ask to move space and control. Awesome. It's loading. Yeah, okay. Control is kind of weird to have. They trapped us again. There's some damn spy on our base. Stand by. Prayed. 
They'll send a few more men to wipe us out too, and we're going to square the count. Oh, is it like specifically this control? Damn it. I can't. We'll get two of my motors. I'm limping badly. We better beat it while we can. Go on, then beat it. I'm going to take a couple of them anyway. Oh, thank God. Fire is just on. I don't remember what space does or anything. Well, not very good at bullet hells either. Yay! Shit, these guys are way better at spewing bullets than I am. That'll quiet them for a few minutes. I guess I'd better follow than quit our pred. I've paid him for the I paid them for the boys. They get away. Next. Next we're playing the game of Timeless Carol. Hit play. I just imagine Marley. I need sleep. Window phone, bed door. Alright, so we'll uh, let's use. No credit on it, also no signal. Use it's slow heat transfer if not sound. Bed. Use. Ring, ring, ring. Phone. Use. Nice to speak to you. Oh, wait. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Nice to speak to you. Do you recognize this? Sobs can be heard. Me when I was younger. Weaker. A rush. A flurry. Uh, I shall vomit you out. Do you recognize this? Fiddles can be heard. This tune. The fiddler sings spin around. We all dance with, blight, with delight. The fiddler sings touch the floor. Touch the floor. The fiddler sings touch the ground. Touch the ground. The fiddler sings use the door. Use the door. Have you been paying attention? Yes, spirit. Sing the tune of the fiddler. Spin around. Touch the floor. Touch the ground. Finish. I can't recall. Have you been paying attention? Yes. Alright, spin around. I think it was touch the floor. Touch the ground. Right, touch the ground. Sing some more. Yes, spirit. Yes, spirit. Okay, let's try this again. So that's not right. So let's see. Spin around. Touch the ground. Nope. Do you recognize this? Dance with lights. Spin around. Touch the floor. Touch the ground. Use the door. Yes, spirit. Alright, so spin around. Touch the floor. Touch the ground. I don't know. Next. Next, we're playing the game Captain Hook is out of time. Time's up. Captain and the Devil's Croc draws near. Swim while you can and loot if you must. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's over for Hook. Hook's dead. Captain Russ. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So I guess we're supposed to run and gather coins and loot. I don't know what that guy is. Collect coins makes you feel better, but there's no escaping the time. Alright. So it says use the air swim as long as you can and collect coins if it makes you feel better. But there's no time to escape this time. Hook through the jaws of the croc. Peter Pan was actually my sister's favorite fairy tale growing up. Next. Next we're playing the game uh, Moonlight, however it says Timeless, but when you like click on the game it says Moonlight on the page, I don't know. Um, but yes, we're playing it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. How do I actually control? Not quite sure what I need to be doing. I like the graphics to this though. Huh. Seemed to have taken me away. Hmm. Right, so there's a lot of controls with this. Um, so let's press R to retry. Well, wait a second. Alright. Yep. Alright, 
So we only have five bullets, so that sucks. Now with this we're supposed to like mouse over, I guess. I don't know, one sec. I guess you have to hold like shift to review stuff. To review clues, and then we've got like these. I don't know. I don't know how to really move them around. Or how to gather more, to be completely honest, because... I don't know, next! It's beautiful graphics. Next we're playing Out, Damned Spot. Okay. Press the button to choose your controls. Done. You are Lady Macbeth. It has been prophesied that your husband, Macbeth, shall be king. Only the current King Dukin stands in the way. The guards are watchful and suspicious. Kill the guard ahead and return to the basin of water quickly to wash your hands of his blood. Oh, I went too close to him. That was quite epic, the swinging of the sword. You were killed. Alright, we're gonna get to that part again. Alright, quickly. My arms are covered in blood. Okay. Turn to the guard ahead in the basin of water. The guard spirit will haunt you until your ha hands are clean. I think my hands are clean. You can wash multiple guards' blood off your hands at once. It's a stealth based Macbeth game. Okay. It's kind of scary. Next! 